here it is. This is my uh, winter wonderland. It's my summer winter wonderland. This is all the uh, the stuffing from the pillows, and as you can see, it just sort of looks dirty. And that's okay. That I think that's going to fit the video because Santa Claus is a fairly informal sort of chap. He's the bro he's the Australian brother of Santa Claus, the less magical, less popular one. Uh, and I guess I'll introduce you, him to you in a second, but first let me introduce you to how I'll be filming this today. So this is my VR 180 camera. As you can see, it captures quite a wide angle. It ca it's almost like there's um, a plane right through here and it captures everything in front of that plane. So I'm capturing uh, ambient audio, uh, spatial audio I should say, and uh, the 180 camera. And the idea is that, and any of you who have seen the VR 180 videos I've done will know, you can watch it in a headset, which I'll mention in the video, or you can just watch it on your phone uh, or your desktop without doing the whole 180 thing. So I figured it would be fun sort of uh, Christmas day little present, something a little fun, a little quirky, bit of a skit, bit of a bit of a community interaction thing. So, let's go figure out what Santa Claus looks like. In here is buried uh, my costume box and a whole Santa outfit in a box. So let's dig this stuff out. Now my idea was to mix a Santa costume with Aussie stuff. So you got a Cobra and a boomerang and a knife and, and whatever. Uh, and to alter the costume to work as Santa Claus, the good thing is I think I have two Santa costumes, at least in parts. So that means whatever I have spare, I could, uh, let's say, alter to fit Santa Claus. Alright. I gotta try and figure this out. Yeah, a bit. Seems I've got a few hair and beard options. This is a shimmering silvery one. I think this is just a wig. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then this is the beard. So I guess let's uh, just have a sneak peek. These in uh, combination. Yeah, it's bloody all right. Hey, this, this comes with a mullet. <laughs> I always feel, feel like I should uh, go for that. Does he wear a hat under his Kubra? I don't know. Maybe. And this is the spare Santa top. And I wonder if I altered this one Maybe if I cut down here and have it, and do, do like open sleeves or something. <laughs> Ugh. So bloody hot. I think what I might do is go full Santa costume and then have my tweaked version underneath. And I'll just complain about being hot. Pull off the coat, have me torn up, crappy sh shirt underneath. <laughs> you can just wear these as like wristbands. <laughs> Doesn't work when I'm wearing my red t-shirt underneath, but you get the idea. Alrighty. I think we've found Santa Claus. <laughs> There's only one thing missing. Short shorts and bloodstones. That's two things. Look away. There. <sighs> okay. Short shorts time. Now I look like Santa Claus! <laughs> now moving on to another Christmas wish, we have uh, Legend Gaming 258 who asks for the most Australian thing I have. Well, uh, I can think of two things. We've got a true blue Australian boomerang. This you can throw and come back. It comes from indigenous Australian culture. That's pretty Australian, of course. And then we have uh, a big fucking knife. Okay, I'm all done. Thank God. And I'd be lying if I said it wasn't cringy and difficult to do <laughs> and really dumb. But you know what? What is Christmas if it isn't cringy and difficult to do and a little dumb? <laughs> so I'm hoping the video is at least a little bit of fun for you guys because it'll come out on Christmas Day. So people aren't really expecting really content on Christmas Day anyway. So it's just a bit of extra fun. Now I need to clean up because this is very messy. Okay, I have some pretty good news and some really frustrating, slightly bad news. The pretty good news is, look how clean my office is. Just look, just look. Thank you, Rachel, for your help. Yay, we're clean. Okay, that's pretty good. Now on to the not so good news. 
That whole video I recorded with, with uh, Sanger Claws went down the toilet. When I was transferring the files, I accidentally hit the record button, which normally wouldn't be an issue, like unless I was using a GoPro or whatever. This is a prototype hardware though, this. It's over there charging, the, the VR 180 camera. And what actually happened was that that accidental record re recorded over the first file, the file name. It used the same file name and replaced it. So the whole first 10 minute section of the video when I entered, changed into Santa Claus from Santa Claus, explained the VR 180 thing, and started the whole video thing, all of the context, gone. And we'd already done the cleaning up by the time I transferred the files and realized this was a problem. So that was a wasted exercise. <laughs> and it's a real bummer because it was gonna be a really fun video. But I'm gonna be honest, I just ha did not have the energy to, to muster it up and try and do it again. It's just not this year. Sanger Claus has been established though as a character and though he did not have a go this year, he exists now in Jazza Canon. <laughs> I don't know. So I'll bring him back next year, but unfortunately there won't be a Sanger Claus video this year, but there will be a Christmas video, which I've just finished uh, sending a refine cut back and we'll have that rendering and going up next week. So this is actually technically the last full work day here on the channel, on the vlog channel before uh, the Christmas break. Everyone who works here is gonna go on a bit of a break and after a half day tomorrow, I'll be going on a break for about a week and a half until the new year. So hopefully I'll be able to grab a, um, a little bit of family vlog or something for Christmas or New Year or something like that. Um, but otherwise, I really do want to wish you guys a happy holiday. I'm looking forward to getting some rest myself. You guys know it's well overdue. So <laughs> in a way, it's almost a slight blessing, although it's a curse, that the Sanger Claus video fell apart because it would have been a lot of work to get over the line and rendered by Christmas. And it just would have kept me working all the way up to Christmas probably. So. Maybe it's the heavens smiling down on me and saying, just take a break. So I'm going to take a break. Thank you so much for watching. I'll wrap up with a quick couple of questions of the day. Lee Charos says, you always seem to use the words dabble when you try out art supplies and dive when you go full scale. Maybe dabble and dive could be used as inspiration for a new shirt. That is a very cool idea. And I've written it down in my shirt ideas thing. Thank you for, for mentioning that. That's a really cool idea. So I do like the idea of exploring that and see if we can come up with a cool design. Uh, I might as well take a, a couple more. What have we got? Um, Daniel the Awesome says, what happens to the stocks? The stocks are still here. Uh, I just don't talk about them anymore just because it's such a incremental little thing I'm sort of observing on my own. Plus, I think it was just sort of irrelevant for the vlog channel. It seems to be... I don't know, it's just not everyone's cup of tea, so I'm just, you know, it's my thing now. I, I, I felt silly making a big thing out of it, but oh, it was something I was excited about when I was discovering it. So I'm still ebbing away at it and learning it slowly, but it's not really a thing I'm putting much time and effort into. Uh, otherwise, the last one I'll take will be from Luke's Gallery, who says, what's a good alternative to Copic Markers if you're on a budget? Uh, honestly, my favorite alternative so far would have to be the uh, sneak attack markers. What are they called again? Spectrum Noir. Uh, really good, the Illustrator series. They're like, they're like 85, 90% of the way to Copics with like a way cheaper budget. So really good color quality. The only thing I didn't like was the, the brush nib, um, but otherwise it, it, it was really good. So I can highly recommend them. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's vlog, whatever it, ended up being an attempt at something and that's what we do here on draw with jazza and daily jazza we attempt things and that doesn't always work but as long as we're trying that's the most important thing have a happy holidays everyone i'll see you later